What I'd like to do now is go straight over to a demonstration from Doug Morgenthaler, and he's going to show us the work that we're doing to integrate online into the desktop applications. Doug's a product engineer on the desktop development team. Doug. Thanks, Ewan. With ArcGIS 10, desktop users benefit from tighter integration with ArcGIS Online, allowing you to find and use online maps and data easily and efficiently. I'll start by searching for the web map that Jeremy authored earlier this morning. And I'll open that web map inside ArcMap. OK, I'd like to add some additional content to my map. And this content has been shared with me as part of a group on ArcGIS Online, the Washington, D.C. Planning Department group. I can look at the contents of the group, the, the contents that have been shared with the group. You can see that I have some bike routes for the DC area. I can look at the details of that content to see if it's appropriate for my use. And I can add that to my map. Now in this case, this is a layer package. So the layer package is being downloaded, unpacked, and the layers added to my map. So we've seen how you can find and use online maps and data. But desktop users often leverage local data as well. Here, I've been authoring some content for public transportation in the Washington, D.C. area. I'll add that local data to my map as well. Now, I'd like to share this public con transportation content with other users as well. So I'll create a layer package. And I'm going to upload this to ArcGIS Online. I'm going to validate it to make sure all the necessary information has been specified and I'll share it. I'll enter a summary so people understand what type of content I have, and I'll add some tags so people know what sort of information I and can find it a little bit easier. Finally, I can choose how I'd like to share that and disseminate this information. I can upload this just to my private ArcGIS account. I can share this with everyone, or I can upload this and just share this with members of particular groups. In this case, I'm going to share it with the Washington, D.C. Planning Department. So at this point, the layer and its associated data are getting packaged up and uploaded to ArcGIS Online. Now, once that completes, other ArcGIS Desktop or ArcGIS Explorer users who are members of that group can make use of that content in their own work. So at ArcGIS 10, it's easy to use, share, author, and manage all your online maps and data all from within ArcGIS Desktop. Ewan? Thanks, Doug. So what we've seen there is good integration of online into the desktop applications. We saw Doug consume content from our online and easily share that content back up to online. And the one thing I'd like to stress, that can all be automated with Python. Even the uploading of the package to the online website, there's a Python tool to do that at 10. This takes us right along to Python. We really see it as the ArcGIS scripting language. We've worked on Python uh, improvements over a number of releases. And traditionally, you've used Python to script together geoprocessing tools to automate the uh, spatial analysis operations. And you've been able to use them to some extent for data management tasks. At 10, we've added a number of new tools to improve the uh, work that you can do with data management. And I'm really excited about the new mapping capabilities that we've added to the map automation work with Python. So you'll be, be able to automate the creation of maps uh, with scripting in Python. We've made changes to the framework. So we've now got Python tightly integrated into the desktop applications. John earlier this morning showed you the Python window. It's no longer just a command prompt. It's actually Python running inside of ArcMap. We've got background geoprocessing. So you can multitask, run uh, Python scripts in the background, continue to work with your map in the foreground. And something that's often overlooked, it's very easy now to take script tools. And the same as any other uh, command in a customized dialog, you can take your script tool and drag it drop it onto a toolbar so you can very easily customize the user experience of working with these scripts. It's no longer just through the, the toolbox window. You can have them on toolbars inside of ArcMap. 
What I'd like to do now is introduce Jeff Barrett, who works on the Map Automation team as a product engineer, and he's going to take us through a, th a few examples of how Python can be used to automate workflows in ArcGIS. 